South Sudan became independent in July uh, 2011. Seven days afterwards, after leaving South Sudan when we celebrated the independence and I went back to England where I had still uh, responsibility as a senior fellow at the University of Oxford, I made a public statement. Many of you will have got it. I said, for 50 years I struggled to get South Sudan its right of self-determination. And I hope actually all of you are youngsters around this table. But I'm sure you will not forget how the word self-determination came to, uh, to be a slogan of South Sudan throughout the struggle. This is something that uh, a movement that I started and led in 1965 after the overthrow of the Abud regime called the Southern Front. For those of you who may not have heard it, Southern Front released the, the principle of the South Sudan to self-determination. And we base it on the fact that South Sudan was never consulted to belong to Sudan or to belong to East Africa or to belong to anywhere. We had our own problems, our own historical problems. For those of you who are historians who want to read history in life will find out that the British really didn't care about South Sudan. For a long time, the British didn't care about South Sudan. They wanted either to um, uh, annex it to any of the neighboring countries. But because of what we have come now to even believe ourselves, because we are so unruly, we are so out of law, nobody wants to be with us. The British thought if we were annexed to Uganda, we would disturb a very peaceful community. We were annexed to Kenya, we would disturb a very peaceful community. If we were annexed, um, maybe uh, the year didn't come into picture because the year was um, uh, a Portuguese territory. So we, 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 we got stuck and the British decided that we would become an ownership of Northern Sudan. South Sudan really in, 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 in political terms was never part of Sudan in a serious way from the point of view of the British. They just wanted somebody to take care of this animal called South Sudan. And they thought the Arabs would deal with us better than any of our uh, neighbors. I think we all know now how, you know, severely and seriously the Arabs uh, dealt with us. But we were not created as a people to become a property to anybody. And so our people did not accept this. They did not uh, submit to anything. And the struggle went on until you are now vice president of an independent uh, country called uh, uh, South Sudan. But you are not yet accepting the fact that you have responsibility, serious responsibility for this country. You are, you as people, from Kirmayadi to all of you, I have to say publicly, since you have asked me to come and talk publicly again after I had declared that I want to be, I want to retire and just uh, even the book that I wrote, the last book I wrote were my memoirs, which I am sure some of you would have uh, heard of and have seen uh, a copy of it. That, that, that is my last thing in uh, uh, writing. I want to spend, to the extent that one can be peaceful in an unpeaceful society like the society of South Sudan, I want to stay just... Uh, peacefully. 
So you now ask me to come and talk about uh, ABA. And I ask myself, what, 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 what role, what right do you as South Sudan have over ABA? The book that gets squatted around and all this is the book that I titled, you know, the country called uh, Hwok is not yet South Sudan. That's the book. I, uh, the Lord is here. If there is another book that is a problem, let it be done. Up to now, I still say it in front of you, up to the time you are asking me to talk about ABA, ABA is not South Sudan. And you cannot, as Vice President of the Republic of South Sudan, come and sit here in Turale to talk about ABA as if ABA was a station or a district of South Sudan. It doesn't work. It is just that you don't want to accept the fact of reality. If you want to help Ngog, you want to help ABA, you want to help the people of uh, the, 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 the Dinka who are else, uh, elsewhere, you have to talk to the country that is responsible for this. The Lord is sitting here. I'll never mince my word that up to now, up to now, ABA is not South Sudan. So how do we come and sit as South Sudanese independent country to come and discuss one section of another independent country without that country being here? It's unfair. It is just as unfair as what people like Deng Lord did when they decided because because of the encouragement, the unfortunate encouragement that you people in South Sudan give to these people of, of ABA who have a case. They have a strong case. If they want, if they have decided, um, unfortunately, I don't think that they have decided. There is no united opinion of work that says that they want to come back to the South. Because if you go to Khartoum now, if we go to Khartoum, we'll get more than the number that is here who will say they are part of Northern Sudan. Is that your role? Is that your role as an independent South Sudan to really come and sit here and decide where this little station, little area called ABA belongs? When you have signed your own independence, that you are an independent country based on the borders of 1st January 1956. And let me tell you why we chose the 1st of January 1956 as the Southern Front to be the borders between South Sudan and, and, uh, and Northern Sudan. Because if we, had, if we had decided not to take the colonial borders, even this war that has ended with the independence of South Sudan would not have ended now. We would still be fighting on the borders now. But because we knew the North had accepted that the boundaries between Sudan and Northern Sudan were set by the British and they accepted it, we wanted to hold them to that. Now you don't want to hold them to that. You want to get, get out some station called ABA, you want to deal with it as if ABA is yours. It's not going to work. I don't know if you follow the, the media. Deng Alor is sitting here, he's been to Khartoum. You hear that tomorrow, a meeting, he may not do it because he doesn't have the money. Khartoum itself is as, as, as broke as anything you can think of on, uh, on health. But if 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 Emiti tomorrow gets the, the resources and comes with his army and says, "I want to set up the administration of Southern Kordofan in Abia," will any one of you around this table stop it? Will Kirmayadi stop it? Why are you not being realistic with yourselves? You have a country that has all kinds of serious problems that need you to be sleepless in order to resolve them. You want to pick on problems that are not yours? The borders of ABA is not the borders of 
Abiai and Pitt. The borders of Abiai are the borders of Kordofan and Bahrazal, or the borders of South Sudan and uh, Northern Sudan. They are based on the colonial borders of 1st of January 1956. If there are problems, if there are problems that have arisen between communities, you know, the Ngok and the Dinka, I don't know who, who, who is the tweet here who would say that, you know, Ngok was not there when he came uh, to be born, or there is a Ngok person who would say Twig was not there when he came uh, to this well. Our leaders, our elders, knew what the borders are. The borders, our traditional borders, are spiritual borders. There is no border that is just a health. It is spiritual. And we as Dinka, by our culture, you cannot claim the land that does not belong to you. It's a curse on you. No Dinka will want to claim the territory that belongs to somebody that is not theirs. That means you are inviting curse on yourself. So all these, these, these things you people are doing, I, I, I wonder where, where is it from? Are these things that you got, you know, from your education, from your classrooms, from your what they have, no, no, no tradition with it? I don't know. I, I, I personally cannot come and really tell you that I know where the borders of Cordofan and, uh, and, and, and Bahrazal are, or where the borders of uh, uh, Northern Sudan and South Sudan are. We have termed them 1st January 1956. They are acceptable to you, your government, as the government of South Sudan. They are acceptable to Khartoum. Where Abiy belongs here ought not to be an issue that is an issue of a crisis between a small section of uh, uh, Dinka with another Dinka, which is which is uh, which is Ngok. But I have to say, because things are out of hand. My dear, he said, my dear son, the situation is out of your hand. You are not in charge of your country. This country called South Sudan, you are not managing it. It's a first. It's out of hand. So any one of us, especially now that you have got the guns into the, the, the picture, anybody who has a gun is the man. He's the only man people can, uh, can listen to. And so Twitch has suffered as a result of this because the guns of the SPLM that were taken to try and protect Abiyai, protect Abiyai from whom? Because Abiyai, Abiyai, there's nobody who is claiming Abiyai. You are not claiming Abiyai. Abiyai is part of Kordofan. Until the people of Abiyai decide in a proper way. You are, the role that South Sudan should play on behalf of ABA, South Sudan has failed to play it. And I have been talking about it since the time of the CPA. This ABA issue has to get Salva Kir Mayadi as the President of the Republic of South Sudan because it has become a security. Like it or not, ABI has become a security for South Sudan. And if it is a security problem for South Sudan, South Sudan must find a way of resolving this security problem, as well as it is a security for Khartoum. Why is it impossible for Salva Kiir or you as the government of the Republic of South Sudan to sit down with Khartoum to resolve the question of ABA. There are, in, 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 in the history of the world, there are areas where people trade off. If it is true, I am not sure, I'll tell you, I'm not sure that the community of Ngok really wants to be part of South Sudan. Because there is Denga Lord here, he may want to be part of South Sudan. 
but is then a lot in control of all the work. There are leaders in, in Khartoum today who don't recognize them a lot as their leader. They don't want to be part of South Sudan. What do you do about that? Do you sit in Turale or sit in Abia or wherever you want to sit and say, we are dealing with South Sudan? You are not dealing with the problem. The problem requires the government of South Sudan and the government of Sudan to sit down and say, the CPA says that the people of Ngok must determine where they belong. It's not that referendum, the referendum that the Lor and whoever did it, whenever they, they did it. Is it a referendum? Where is it now? Where are its results? The Lor took the results to, uh, uh, to Lahai. It has distorted the borders of the two states because now, even while I am uh, not in attendance, the, 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 the Lahai maps have been introduced here. And you accept them. He's saying you accept the Lahai maps as the maps that should determine the, the, the borders of South Sudan, and you are the vice president of South Sudan, when in fact it was not South Sudan and no Sudan that were in in, uh, in the high. What do you want to do to your country? If you are responsible people, you take responsibility. Responsibility has its commitment. And responsibility can lead to death. What you decide around this table can result in a lot of deaths because, of, because you are a, a responsible person in the government. You are not dealing with the problem. The problem is not here. Problem is not in Turale. The problem is not in Anate. Problem is not anywhere. The problem is you, as the government of South Sudan, to get the government of Khartoum and get a mediator between you to give the people of Obia their decision. To decide so that they decide once and for all. Are they South Sudanese or are they North Sudanese? You come and claim that yeah, whoever is with you from Abia is South Sudanese. There are people who are from Abia who are in Khartoum. Khartoum says they are uh, uh, part of Khartoum. And you are two governments of these two countries. You don't want to meet? What's going on? I think that you people, you have played enough with time. You have played enough with resources. We have played enough with the lives of our people. It's time to grow up. I appeal to you, please grow up and become representatives of the government of South Sudan and let the government of South Sudan become in charge of the life of the people of South Sudan. Thank you very much.